Hello, my friends. What's up? It's Sam I am. I'm here to do another video with you, my favorite peeps out there in never, never, never YouTube land. I hope you all are doing well. I, myself, I'm doing fantabulistic and I really, really mean it. I got a letter from my son today. Yay! If you don't know, my son's at boot camp for the Coast Guard. Yay! Go military! Thank you for defending our country. Yay! So, um, I'm very excited. I got my first letter. That's got me a little pep in my step. So, let's go ahead and jump right into the project that I want to do today. It is going to be, I'm going to try the Laramar effect and making my own mold. Oops. See what I got? This is crushed mirror. And then this is a little pea gravel. So I'm going to take this cling wrap, saran wrap, uh, whatever you want to call it. I call it the pain in the butt in the kitchen. This is what I call this stuff. I can roll around the kitchen floor with it because it gets so aggravating. But I will gently try and rip it. And, you know, you gently try. <laughs> it just doesn't want to rip. There we go. Okay, I'm going to cut it. That should be enough to fit. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. This one might not be big enough for that. We, we can't afford to cut another piece. I was just seeing if we could use one piece, but we might not be able to, and that's all right. We'll just cut another one. I enjoy fighting with the saran wrap. Yeah, that's too short. Here we go again. So it's Memorial Day weekend. Anybody got plans? We used to go camping every Memorial Day weekend. As a matter of fact, we took my son when he was four weeks old. His first trip was, he wasn't even four, four weeks old. He was 20 days old. We went to uh, Lake Gaston, which is in uh, Virginia. Like, uh, Southeastern Virginia, part of Virginia. All right, that is still not gonna fit. Ugh. I'm gonna run out of it. Look, I'm like, can somebody please bring me some saran wrap? There we go. I'm gonna fix you, buddy. You think you mess with me? I don't think so. very graceful. I'm not going to lie, y'all. My son is having a hard time. And they told us to expect that because they're having a hard time with it. You know, can you imagine what they're going through? Getting screamed at, yelled at. I mean, some of you have done it. No others who have done it. So, you know, you can't imagine. You've seen it or what have you. It breaks my heart. But Tony's just got to hang in there. Just got to hang in there. All right. So I've got that. I have mixed up 14 ounces of Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. I'm going to need... Um, I'm just going to do two blues. I don't feel like mixing them. I was going to do a coral with the orange and then a teal and a teal. I'm just going to do two teals. We'll just see what the difference is. Because I don't feel like doing that. You know what I mean? I might have to do it again anyway. I don't know that this is all going to hold. We're going to find out. We'll see what happens, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, my darlings. I don't know. We shall figure this out together. It should work out perfectly like this. You know how you pour in part um, B first and then you pour in part A? Well, I pour it in part B. I said, I'm going to do um, 14. So I poured in the 7. Well, I had some A left in my bottle. I didn't know how much was in there. But y'all know what? I poured it. And daggone if it wasn't another 7 ounces. So it made exactly 14. How freaking cool was that? I was like, man, I like it when that happens just cool when it works out like that. Mm 
All right, guys and gals. Here, I put some gloves on y'all. Oh, I only need three. I have my gloves out, I just didn't put them on. So, yeah, Memorial Day weekend. Y'all going camping, y'all just hanging out, going to work on some resin projects, and your significant others doing their hobbies around the house. What are you doing for Memorial Day? All right, here's the deal, y'all. Rather than using the resin dye, I'm gonna try and use the Bombay ink and see what happens, okay? Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna, these are really concentrated, like the resin dye. So one, two, three, four, four. I'll do four. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Nice. I think these might do pretty good, guys. Yes, I do. We like to wait till the morning. And look, I'm hoping I don't have the problem that I did with the other one where it melted because it was in that fancy styrofoam. I don't know what to call it. And it melted, y'all know. So I don't know if it's going to have the same reaction or what, but it's 10 drops. These, I meant to say, these little containers are like the things that go on under uh, plants. You know, they're the uh, plant catcher, plant dish, I guess is what you would call it. I just got these pinata alcohol inks here all this time. I thought I had the whole full set, but I didn't have like the teal, um, pink, coral, pearl, copper. I got another Blanco Blanco, um, a sunbreak. No, what's this one called? Violet, blue violet. And then what's this color called? And brass. So I was excited. I got more pinata and then this one I said already teal. So that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna put in the cast and craft. Cast and craft. Cast and craft. I've had it upside down, so shaking it a little bit. And I'm gonna put it. I don't think I put in enough last time, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see how that works. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Make sure you mix that all in real good. You don't want it streaky. See how it's streaky? And when it's streaky. I'm whipping it this hard. I'm going to put more bubbles in it. I'm looking better. Alrighty, my friends, here we go. Go down with the weight. Hopefully this gives us a crystal side. We don't know. We shall see. Split this up between the two. And that one might have got a little more. Oh, well.
Alrighty, that one. Now we shall go with the alcohol ink, right? Yes. Moving right along, moving right along. Now we're going with the Bombay ink, India ink. Is technically what it's called. All right, and I got the room, rest of the room for clear, which isn't a whole heck of a lot of room, but we'll take it. So now I have the perfect amount. Wow. <laughs> That works out great. I already told y'all about the part A and part B and having enough and everything. Then this worked out like that. That's so cool. All right. So now we just wait and overnight the magic will happen. We will have magic happen overnight. Just like when Santa Claus comes. <laughs> it's magical. Let's see. I got to be very careful. I'm just doing it right on top, not close to the edge. Know what I mean? Okay. And as much as I can do, it's going to be cool. I know it. I know it. I know it. It's going to come out. I know it. I know it. Okay, I'm done with that. Done. So we shall see what happens, my friends. This is going to work. It's going to be beautiful. You wait and see. You wait and see. So I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. Good morning, friends. I'm back with our pieces. Hey, they look pretty cool. I don't know. And look, it didn't burn through. That's a plus. So I'm excited. There is a little, see how it did this? See how there's like a little lip all the way around? I'm not so sure what that's about, but I'm excited. I've been excited to come out all night to see what this did. So here we go. If I can get it out and without making a mess, because remember all that stuff, none of it's glued down. It's just sitting in there. I thought about it. I think I should have glued it, but we'll see what happens. Seems like it's just popping out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just popping out. That's fab. All right. So let's just pull them out like this. And then I'll take out. Look. There's all of our rocks. Let's see if we can do that with this one. Feels like it. Feels like it. Yep. Wipe off any excess that I feel. I'm not quite sure why some of them are sticking, some of them aren't. Maybe some resin got outside, which is kind of concerning. How did it get out? We'll figure it out. All right, let's see what we got. Ready? 
I hope this works. Because then that means other people can do this layer marble effect without spending so much money on a mold. Right? Are you ready? Bam! Wow. Let's see what it looks like without this. I what to think about that. I mean, it's not the Laramar effect or Laramar, however you say it. That's what that is. I don't know what you'll call it. I think I should have, the, I need to glue the rocks up towards here so they're not coming so far down. So we got more, so it doesn't come so far down. It'll be up here. You know what I mean? But the top looks cool. Alright, let's check this one out. I can't get the Vissorian wrap off my finger. Stop it. Alright. At least the Saran wrap's pulling off pretty good. I was worried about that. It's weird. I'll show you what I'm talking about. How there's a lip. That went all the way around. I guess I'm not quite sure why that happened. All right. No, not so hot. On the front is where the party's at. All right. Gotta have that mold, y'all. Well. I'm going to still keep looking to see if I can find something. I mean, that looks cool. It's not what we want, but that looks cool. And there's two of them. I can put a top coat on them. The bottoms are just kind of wonky. I can work on getting all this glass out of it. Dang, I'm going to cut my finger somehow on this glass. So, yeah, I just need to take my time and go through and get this glass out. Pick the rest of the saran wrap out. And then I'll put a top coat on them. Because see, look, there's a lip. Can you see that? See how there's a little lip right there? Yeah, you can see that. Right there. God, I put myself good. So, maybe I can fill that up. And I'll sand this side and this side. Because they look good. Don't you think? What do you think? I think they look good. Will you tell me? Will you tell me what you think? Nobody ever tells me what they think. Nobody. It's like I'm just having a one-way conversation. And I'm getting over it. Somebody tell me what they're feeling. My few friends that do comment always, always have good things to say. Ooh, the light just flickered. It went out. What's up with that? There we go. That was weird. Hey, are my friends beyond talking to me? Maybe that's what that was. That's cool. That's cool. I got some friends on the other side, I'm sure. So, yes, my friends that always comment to me and always give me motivating words are such great people. I love them. I have some friends that are also content creators. I would like to say hello to Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. She's always given me... There goes that light again. What's up with that? I must guess it's dying. Great. That's something else we got to buy. So, yes, Miss Wanda is always helping me with little questions that I have about how this YouTube thing works. Then I found out that Miss Frances from Beaten Art, Crazy Art, she is giving me shout outs. And I can't tell you how awesome that is, Miss Frances. And I really, really appreciate you giving me a shout out. That's, that's just beautiful. That is what a good friend does. And I hope I'm your good friend. You always give me comments and I appreciate it. So, yeah, shout-outs to those two friends of mine. And, you know, if I can give shout-outs to others for the followers that I have, I'd love to do so. Just let me know. Let me know if your little channel is smaller than mine, and I will give you a shout-out so other friends of mine can check you out. Okay, well, this is what I have for today other than the business, and I'm just going to roll through it real quickly. I have three contests going on. The details are down in the description. The first one is a like, subscribe, send me a comment letting me know that you did, and I'll give you a number. 
when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway using the number generator. Second contest is the honorary color with your name program. Make a PayPal donation and you can get an honorary color on my channel with your name. Pretty cool. You tell me what family color family you like. I'll try and find something that works for you and it'll be your color. Anytime your color comes up to be used, you get an entry into the joy box. When the joy box gets 15 entries in it, I'm going to do a drawing and the winner will get a clock mold with the terrace type, the different levels, and it comes with the hands as well as the clock mechanism. The third and final contest is the Amazing Corny Acorn. You can get in the Amazing Corny Acorn by showing some support for the channel. You can do that in different ways that are listed. Uh, Amazon wish list. Uh, if you want to pass down, pass on hand-me-downs that you're no longer using or that you think I would like to use rather than you. Anything how that may come about that you'd like to send me some hand-me-downs. Uh, you can also use the affiliate links as well as buy me a sweet tea, whether it be by the cup, glass, jug, however you'd like. I would appreciate anything that you would like to give to show support for my channel. I'm doing nothing but trying to grow and tomorrow is the brightest future I can see. That makes sense. The future so bright I can see. I don't know. I have a lot of hope. How about that? That's what I'm going to say. I have a lot of hope that the channel is going to grow really, really well. That's my intentions anyway. So for now, this is all I have. Until next time, love you, mean it. See ya. Bye.